what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel today we're gonna be taking a look at uh, sims one of sims best selling models here in the european union and that is the jet 14. now we have it here in 125 cc trim the 125 cc actually comes in two flavors it's either air cooled with about 11 horsepower or water cooled as this one is with about 12 horsepower the water cooled engine is it was present in the Euro 4 style of scooter. That was a free valve engine. Uh, this one is a four valve engine. It's a little bit updated for the Euro 5, a little bit more power, a little bit more torque. In this video, we're gonna do our normal shenanigans, going from front wheel to back wheel. And let's start off at the front, as we usually do. So in the front, what's new for the Euro 5 model is this headlight cluster. Now the headlight is the same shape as it previously was. The only difference is now we have a full LED array. We have LED daytime running lights with the projector style low beam and high beam. Now the high beam, I think you can hear, let me just... That clicking noise that you hear is not the handlebar button. It's actually a mirror inside the projector headlight that moves. So the headlight doesn't change its brightness. What happens is a mirror moves inside and it gives you high beam or low beam. Pretty interesting stuff. On the sides, we have our indicators with our normal halogen bulbs. In terms of wheels, we have 14 in the back with a 260 millimeter front brake disc, dual piston caliper, standard ABS, and the tubeless tire. On top, we have a small windshield. It gives you some protection, but not very much. It's still, uh, it's more of a naked style scooter. It's a bit weird in terms of design, but this naked styling, this all, almost naked bike style gives it uh, it really sets it apart from other scooters on the market. Up top, on the handlebars, we have, and this is interesting, we have a motorcycle style handlebar with a triple tree, uh, a digital dash, it gives you the warning lights, it gives you your rev counter, your speed, your clock, which you can change into a voltmeter, your odometer that change into a trip meter, and your fuel gauge. In terms of controls, we have our high and low beams. We have our indicators, our horn, our engine start button, and that's about it in terms of buttons. The levers are not adjustable, they're just regular levers. What is interesting is the high and low beams, on most scooters, if you press it down, you flash the lights. But here, as you can see, it says seat open. So if we press it, the seat pops. Close it. It's closed. Press it. Electronic seat popper. Real nice. And since we're under the seat, we have storage for one helmet. And we have our gas tank. Really easy to get to. Underneath, like all sim scooters, we have our side stand and our center stand and the foot pegs for the passenger coming around to the back we have our led rear light which doubles as a brake light also led we have our halogen turn indicators halogen license plate number our exhaust our 14 inch rear wheel with the 120 section rear tire or no sorry with a 110 section rear tire and a 220 millimeter brake disc, also with ABS. Now this isn't one of Sim's most uh, cheap models, so to speak. But uh, the reason it's very popular here in Europe is because compared to Asia, European people are a bit taller. And when you're tall, you need legroom. Because of the way the scooter is designed, because of the way the fairings are designed, unlike many other scooters, it really suits the European market. It's still small, it's still compact, it's just as small as any other small class scooter so it's still just as nippy in the city through the traffic but the thing is this part and the way it's cut out you could sit on it it has a flat floor 
we do have a luggage hook here. So it has a flat floor, so you can sit on it just like any other scooter. But say if you're tall, if you have tall legs, long legs, you would be up here. That's not quite comfortable, as you can see. The thing is, this part of the floor is angled up just a little bit. So instead of sitting on it just like a regular scooter, you could do this. And now we're in a sort of maxi scooter style of riding position. Now, I'm not a short guy, but I'm also not a tall guy. But at 175, this is how much room I have. And as you can see, even sitting in my normal position, I can completely go lock to lock and still have about five to 10 centimeters to my leg from the tip of the handlebar. And considering you're never gonna do this while riding, it really doesn't feel, it feels more open here somehow. It feels more like a motorcycle here. As you can see, even sitting on it, it makes me lean back. It makes me get into a lean back comfortable position. Now, it depends on you if you would be comfortable with this touring for long distance, but for city riding, you can find yourself in a very, very comfortable position very easily. In terms of seat height, it's the regular scooter seat height at about 770 millimeters. So I can just about flat foot it, no problem. It's also very easy, very light. The weight is way down low, no problem even at my 175 centimeters to handle this scooter and not feel intimidated by it at all. But let's take it for a spin and see, see how it rides. So, Sim's best-selling model in Western Europe. Why is that? What do the Westerners know that other people don't? Well, the main difference that you feel straight up as soon as you get on it is the riding position. The handlebar is a little bit higher than regular small size scooters. And the way you sit with your legs. This position, you basically hold the scooter with your legs and you can chuck it about left and right and this is what makes it very very fun and very easy to control it feels very nimble this way the 14 inch wheels are good enough for bumps but also more agile than the 16s it is quite a lot of fun In terms of engine power, it's the same liquid-cooled engine that you have on all sims that have a liquid-cooled engine. So, it's the same 12 horsepower. It feels almost as powerful as my ST. The only difference is the lack of torque, so the engine revs a little bit higher to get up to speed. But because of the four-valve system, while the 200 is a two-valve, because of the four-valve, it breathes better at higher RPM, so this engine really loves to rev and it's really smooth when you get it up high in the revs my 200 seems when you get it up high in the rev range it seems like you're pushing it really hard harder than it actually wants to go but this one this 125 engine feels really nice when you get it up into the revs and in terms of power yeah, no problem. It has plenty of punch and the brakes are really nice. You don't get much lever feel, but there is stopping power. So if you just yank on them, you come to an immediate stop very quickly. The ABS works fine. And I've seen people comment on the old model that it had only front ABS. Well, this one, just rear ABS. So it has both front and rear ABS. I haven't ridden the old model to confirm that it only has front ABS, but a lot of people keep telling me it only has front ABS. I don't know how that would work, but this one has full front and rear ABS. And I think this is why it's so popular in Western Europe. Yes, it's one of Sim's most expensive 125s, but people in Western Europe uh, really appreciate quality. And this one feels really nice. It's still a lot cheaper than the Honda PCX. 
and it's really nice really nimble it looks really good with now with the new LED front light with this dashboard with this hand motorcycle style handlebar it looks the business and you can chuck it about in traffic really easily because of the position of the laid-back position and the way you keep your legs really nice on the brakes it feels nice on the side of the tire very good scooter i'm really curious to see how different the jet x feels because it's still the same frame it's still the same fork rake but the position on it is a little bit different because of the hump you have in the middle but for my impression on the jet x you're gonna have to see my next video or if it's already out link is up here but for now this has this has been the jet 14 hope you enjoyed it if you're curious about it hope this answered a lot of questions if you have any further questions drop them down in the comments below thanks everyone for watching and until next time take care out there everyone and ride safe goodbye <laughs>